हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर वन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर योर अपकमिंग कॉग्निजेंट एग्जाम दैट विल बी फ्रॉम टेक्निकल एंड आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड फॉर कॉग्निजेंट राउंड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल on 25th of april i hope you will be having your first exam most probably that will be communication assessment so after that you will be having your uh, aptitude and then technical rounds so i am going to cover one important topic from technical round that will be html css and javascript then i'll cover one sql questions okay so sql is common for all the clusters and html css javascript is common for cluster 1 and cluster 3 so regardless of your cluster just watch till the end so that it will be very much helpful and very much uh, like yeah yeah very much helpful for your upcoming rounds as well as your upcoming interview okay so i hope you will keep it remember okay so let me share the first question but uh, before that let me just share our prime materials in which you will get all the recent questions okay so just visit topmen.io and you will get cognizant full preparation materials there you will be having all aptitude and all technical rounds questions communication assessment mock test and interview experience as well okay at a very uh, affordable price and as you can see we have been tagged as top 1% influencer in topmen.io so and also you can see the feedback of our prime members okay so i hope you will avail the offer okay so let me share the question so the question is nothing but this i hope this is visible guys enhance an existing tabbed interface to enable seamless switching between multiple content panels while the fundamental structure and styling have been established further functionality is required to fully activate the tabs and manage content uh, display okay so what are the objectives are here that is add data tab attributes to all date all tab buttons with values matching their respective content ids tab 1 tab 2 tab 3 so this is the first objective the second objective is style the active tab clash uh, with a bottom border of this that is 3 pixel thick and implement the switch tab function in javascript to display the selected content panels okay so basically basically you have total three objectives so for each objectives there will be separate marks and for the let's say if there is only 10 marks are allocated then uh, let's say 3 and 3 then 4 so this way they can give you the marks okay so and let me share what type of uh, editor you will be having <clears throat> sorry so basically total three files you have to write so there will be one dot html file there will be one dot css file and there will be one dot js file okay so you have to write you don't have to write full code of html full uh, like full code of css full code of js only the objective portion you have to include in your code okay that means from doc type html to uh, end of the html tag you will be having full code written in your uh, editor just you have to include the objective things so for html what was the objective that is you have to include data tab attribute at all the buttons okay you have to include all the attribute uh, data tab attribute inside all the buttons so this is one objective you have to include inside the html code and for dot css code what was the objective the objective was you have to colorize and you have to make uh some uh, you have to make the active tab thicker 3 pixel okay so 3 pixel you have to make that uh, like uh, border thicker okay and for js you have to implement the logic for uh, that function what's the function name that is um, switch tab okay so switch tab function you have to implement and not fully just uh, that portion by which if anyone click on any portion they will be switching to the other tabs okay so let me show you the sample input and sample output so that you uh, can solve it easily okay so this is the sample output so this is the like 
uh, it will be the ultimate output okay so tapped interface example so let me share the example in here okay so tapped interface example home about service so there will be three tabs and here all the uh, texts are there so these will all already populated in your code okay you don't have to write all of these just focus on the functionalities and objectives they have given you to write okay so basically what you have to do let's say if i click on home then it should be active on home tab and if i click on about then the this should be active okay as you can see the border is with uh, like uh, like uh, as you can see there is this blue and it, this is marked as active and the text also uh, we have switched and if i click on service then also we have seen that this is this has been active and all the texts are there okay so let me share how to solve the problem and what portion will be written for you and what you have to write okay so let me share the html code at first so i have written already end one dot html so that is this okay so the full portion of the codes will be given from here to end okay what you have to do just include the css link uh, so link the css file at header and link the js file at the end okay inside the script tag before the body end okay and all the things from the body and up to the end will be written but the objective was only to include the data tab what was that that is here data tab you have to include data tab is equal to tab one data tab is equal to tab two and data tab is equal to tab three you have to include include this attribute at all the buttons okay all the buttons means this home and about and services there will be three tabs right so all these three tabs are buttons so uh, you have to include data tab attribute for all of these buttons okay and attributes values are tab one tab two tab three okay as you can see okay so then what you have to do obviously you have to implement the logic for switch tab function so for that you have to use this event on click so on click uh, is it, if anyone click on this button on click then switch tab function will be triggered so which uh, like this function you have to implement inside the javascript uh, okay so i hope you know little bit about uh, the javascript and its functionality if you don't then please let me know in the comment section that we are very beginner or we are in uh, like intermediate uh, or uh, we are at intermediate uh, or we are advanced so please write your proficiency in html CSS, javascript okay so so that i can uh, make a video accordingly in the next time okay so for the next as you can see uh, for all tabs we have done our objectives uh, we have completed the objectives so the data tabs uh, i have included and then we have also included the event on click switch tab functions okay it is taking one argument that is tab uh, one tab two tab three all of these are arguments okay so let me uh, uh so all of these will be written already okay you don't have to do anything so don't worry about that so sometimes people see and they are feared oh no how much uh how much code we have to write so don't panic so this much of code you have to just include so as you can see only here 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 and here okay so let me share the css portion what you have to do here so all of these will be written for you all of this will be written for you you don't have to do anything what only things you have to do is that just come here mm. Mm, yeah so active tab class you have to just target this class active tab then there only you have to given border bottom uh, border at bottom three pixel thicker and that should be solid and this color so this is uh, like a blue color so you have to just include this nothing else okay so i hope you understood so uh, rest of the things you don't have to understand okay they will uh, write for you so just uh include this portion active tab class and this attribute you have to include okay so then you have to implement the javascript files 
so uh, before i discuss about the javascript portion just guys one thing if you have not subscribed our channel please do it guys because this motivates me to make more content so in the upcoming time i'll be uploading all the aptitude questions uh, like most of the aptitude important questions and also technical questions uh, so please subscribe so that i'll make more content on these okay so i hope you will do so okay so most of the portion will be written for you just to the objective you have to implement like uh, you have to complete okay so this is the way we write javascript function so switch tab you have to implement right this is already written inside the event in html file okay and uh, here as you can see we have uh written this document dot query selector all dot tab panel what we are doing here all the tab panel classes are there inside the html file we are just targeting those okay targeting those and we are storing those inside tab panels variable uh, uh, like as an array or as a list okay so tab panel so what is that that is here so all the tab content like uh, let's say home tab then about tag then service tag so in inside that that tabs we have some contents right so th for those contents we have these classes uh, divs that is tab panel tab panel and here also tab panel so for all of this we are targeting these okay and just see here we have by default written the active attribute here in the uh in the inside the, the home tab okay inside the home tab we have written active status okay so for active status uh what is happening let me just share that so here as you can see this is already active and this is not active right now this is not active right now so let me just inspect this and let me show you one important things so let me just collapse this okay so one is for navigation one is for the contents okay so at the very beginning at the very beginning that button for the home is active here as you can see active tab and for the uh tab panel uh for about is now for home page home page is active right now okay by default this is active and the content for it is active right but but as soon as i'll click on about this will be active tab button for the about will be active here and uh, and the content for this will be about will be active okay let me just show that so as you can see what happened that is uh, first of all system has removed the active tab from this home uh, home button and added that inside this tab that means inside the about tab okay and here also at first the active status has been removed from the home uh, home tab then it has been added to the about tab okay so this is the two things you have to do so let me just show that okay so here as you can see so at first we have stored all the tab panels the, the tab panels classes are actually referring to the contents okay so tab panels dot for each function panel so this way we are going through all the element of the of the tab panels okay so here what we are doing tab panel dot class list dot remove active so at first we are removing removing let's say let's say uh, someone has clicked so on click the events are written here right so someone clicked on about tab okay someone clicked on about tab as soon as the user clicked on the about tab this will be triggered okay this will be triggered so what it it needs to do it will at first remove this active status active tab status from this uh, button that means uh, from home button then it will add that same inside this button right so that's why at first we have to write this one okay so at first we have to go through all the elements of that panels then we have to remove that active status okay the same way we have to remove the active status from 
the button as well so this is for the tab panel panels and this is for the tab buttons okay so here the same way we are writing document dot query selector all for dot tab button class tab button class for the tab all the tab button classes are stored inside this variable and we are going through all the elements of that tab button so this will be written for you just implement this logic button dot class list dot remove active tab so this will be removed at first so at first what are the removed uh, the active status from the tab panels active status from the tab button then user clicked on the about user clicked on the services so that's uh, that's why it will be added accordingly right so we have to add that so document dot get element by id tab id so it will be active tab panels then active tab panel dot class list dot add active so this way we are adding that active status inside that uh inside the, the tabs in which a user are clicking okay so active tab panel is equal to document dot get element by id tab id active tab panel dot class list dot add active okay and the active button active tab button are being added this the same way okay With dot query selector data tab is equal to tab id okay and active tab button dot class list dot add active tab okay so active and active tab these statuses are added accordingly to the tab panels and tab buttons okay so this, these are all you have to do guys so let me just show again the same thing so reload so this is by default active and if we click then it will be so that uh, all the three objectives are fulfilling that is uh, at first uh, at first the ob objective was to add the data tab data tab attribute with the tab 1 tab 2 tab 3 uh, values and then the um, the pixel the border we have to add three pixel and the color and the same functionality for switch tab function okay so these are all three uh, these are all three objectives we have completed so i hope uh, you will get full marks in this so let me just show guys the last question that is from sql so uh, basically uh, there were a big uh, schema so here uh, one table that is called viewers okay viewers and the blah 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 tables are there so all are interlinked okay so here one attribute name is viewers uh, viewer name and here viewer viewer id okay this is one attribute this is one attribute and the third attribute is something i don't know so the question is very simple that is write a query to select all the viewer name name and count of all the viewer id count of all viewer id alias something okay so these are the like this is the question they have been asked uh, so basically the, the first question it was so that will be obviously very much easier okay so i hope you can solve this type of sql questions uh, let me know if you want more sql questions you if you want more html CSS, javascript questions or not so so that i'll uh, proceed accordingly okay and parallelly we have uh, exam of TCS NQT and also we have exams for Wipro also Infosys so upcoming days we have various companies exam so before that if you are not preparing and also from June or July Accenture is uh, conducting their exam so before that uh, you can access all of these prime materials in a bundle so uh, here is the bundle prices and you can see all the feedbacks and everything so I hope you will consider so let's uh, take the exact decision thank you